man, you just, you just, you just hit me with a ton of bricks. On the outside, you saying it's been 52 shootings in Chicago from Friday to Monday over this past Memorial Day weekend. Yeah. 51, 52 shootings. Out of that 51, 52, I think nine or 10 or, or, or were murdered, mm -hmm. was actually killed. Yeah. On yeah. the outside, you saying, man, that's for, oh, how can they live like that in Chicago? But in Chicago, they saying, man, this is uh, what we do. This is what we do. Them niggas was, it, it makes sense to them. Yeah, it makes sense. But see, that's why I go so hard on it. Now I'm on the outside because it should make sense. You know what I'm saying? But but, but that's 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 our environment that we'll accept and accept it because we felt like, because I'm safe, I'm good. It's what do the Chicago feel safe. Like they know who's doing the shoot. They probably sit there with the niggas who load the bullets up and then put the gloves on to go ride. Everybody don't feel danger. Kind of like, yeah, yeah, so and so them slid through there yesterday. Oh, yeah, my nigga them did that. That's why you don't kill. I said, don't come a threat into a threat on you. That's when niggas get tired of shit when they hit home. Yeah. So, you know what, though, Pistol, check this out. That nigga Charles be saying this shit a lot. And I want, and I, and, and I want, because you just said something, and it's pretty much the same exact thing, right? Yeah. When you get a person outside that environment, it seems like you change their whole mindset. Yeah. But long as you long as you stuck right there in the hood, long yeah. as you stuck right there in the projects, it's like, man, I'm with whatever going on. But in reality, I'm not with it, but I'm with it. That's you all I, I that? got to. I got to yeah. be with it. But as soon as mama say, say, man, check this out. We're going to go over here somewhere. We'll probably look back and see that same child and be like, damn, how you turn out like that? You was a fool in the hood. Yeah. So I, I feel like that right now in today's time, the same thing that you were going through, same thing we went through, I feel like it's going on right now. And it has so much to do with what goes on inside that circle. Inside that circle. We call the hood. Yeah. You got to get my... You gotta get him outside that circle before you can talk to him. I just yeah, like I just hey. like I had a just like I had, I had a little partner. He was a shooter, and one of my little niggas used to send him out all the time on a mission. Like he'll do anything for him. He go shoot at a man and crash out. I'm some man was stupid for the little nigga. And so uh, one of my other partners who started rapping, took him to Florida, and the nigga started doing videos with him. A rapper, a rapper nigga took him out of town. The shooter nigga out of town with him. And put him in a video, he started riding jet skis, fucking bitches and shit, having living the life, living like, like a motherfucker. So he stayed with Doof about two months in Florida. He came back to the city, and my little nigga, my nigga was mad at him. He's like, man, this nigga a bitch, P. I said, what are you talking about? Man, you got a whole ass nigga, you don't want to do, take care of this nigga. I'm like, what are you trying to get him to do? He tried to sit on a mission, dude. Like, no, nah, man, I ain't trying to do that. I got something to live for. Like, I saw what life look like. Mm, but if nigga ain't got life and don't know what nothing look like, he'll keep doing it because it's all he know. Once he saw what it looked feel like in Florida, be around some bitches and have money, and he, like hell no. That's why you see a lot of these rappers get soft and they get money. Cause then they realize, oh, I ain't that nigga. Look at your God, and then he positive. Cause he shit, your yo God ain't trying to go to prison. He ain't trying to, he, he too rich now. But before he was he was that nigga. Like this nigga's like that talk now. He real, he talk real positive. Big homie talk. Yeah. A lot of these niggas talk. That's how I talk like that now because I ain't in that lifestyle no more. You go outside my house, I ain't hearing them a bird. I don't see no, all grass look even. Everybody, all grass look fake in my neighborhood. Like everybody grass cut the same side. The yeah. houses and shit look like they look the same. You know what I'm saying? So you didn't sleep on my lawn. I wouldn't do it because my, my parents wouldn't let me sleep on my lawn. But shit, you probably could. So, you know what I'm saying? So it's my mentality. Let's, right. let's take let, let, let's take it back to, to your childhood. So I, I want the audience to know uh, uh who you really are, man, and, and the credibility. Let's okay. What 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 elementary school you went to in Nashville? Elementary school, Charlotte Paul. Uh everybody yeah, had to think back in the 70s. <laughs> yeah, uh yeah. <laughs> what 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 was school like for Big Pistol, man? Did, did it come natural? Did you struggle with reading, writing, math, and all of that? Hell yeah, hell yeah. Oh, you did? 
Yeah, I was good in math. I'm good in math. So you weren't good at reading. Oh, you oh you struggled with reading in school? Not really struggling. Really, I, you know what I always told people always told me I was smart, just lazy. Just lazy. Yeah. I could they, they always told my mama, if he did the work, he can do it, he just won't do it. Yeah. When he do it, he's smart. I, that was me. I just I just don't want to do shit. That's how I am you now. Have, you didn't have the motivation. Yeah, that's how I am now. I don't like working for nobody. I don't like my children to do. I hate court because you got to be there on time. I don't like none of that shit. That's why I like going to jail. Because I don't want mother to tell me to do a goddamn thing. I just hate to be told to do what I sold dope and rap because I had control of my life. I just hate when mother tell me something. Why I tell a nigga like, y'all go to jail. This y'all had a motherfucker tell you to lay down and do this and that. I watched the Kingpin, my partner. With a campaign, I would have visited that nigga. I saw the dog click the lights on that nigga and say, get up. I said, oh, hell no. I ain't never come here. Ain't no way on the streets you would click the, the light on a nigga like that. That's status worth millions and had niggas up under him. He made me like a little boy. When he clicked the lights and said, get up. He clicked the lights on him. I said, woo. They had never do me like that. I like, fuck that. Uh, so listen, so what, 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 was you, was you, uh, was you athletic in school? I was one of them. I one of them niggas that was, that was want to be a running back. I was now I want to be a quarterback because I knew all the quarterback got the hold. But the coach told me you too fat. You can't be no guy. <laughs> 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 so I quit. I said fuck it. I can't be the quarterback. <laughs> I want to be the quarterback. Oh, quarterback oh, is yeah, <laughs> but now nah, I, I was one of them niggas, man. That I grew up, man. I, I, I was fucked up. I was like, you were too grown. Oh, oh, yeah, that that too. But now nah, I was one of them niggas that the girls didn't like me. I was a little chubby, nigga. But I look back at my old pictures, nigga. I really want fat. It was just fat back were, then. But you, but you thought you were. Yeah, I thought I was fat back then. I look at my pictures now, like man, I ain't never been fat. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm fat now, but. Yeah. When I was coming up, I thought I was fat. Like they be like, fat fuels, fat fuels. And so niggas go on me and shit because I didn't know <laughs> projects. I didn't have no uh washing machine. I used to wash my clothes in a tub with that tie. Oh, that tie washing powder. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. That, that tie washing yeah, powder. Yeah, yeah. Ultimately, when you wash your pants in that tie, if you're washing out good, the whites, the white chicks and shit on your pants from the, yeah. the tie. <laughs> And you, and, you, and you hang the pans up on the door, on the bedroom door, and hope it dry so you be ready to go to school in the morning. But I was hard hit, I was lazy, so I would watch my shit about two and one o'clock in the morning. So about five in the morning, it's still damp. So I'm on the school bus, smell like a goddamn mop. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So the kids like, what's this man? What's this man? Who was that? Somebody spoiled. <laughs> That's what it's for. And it be it be me. And I'm mad at a motherfucker. I'll be like sitting in the choir, like, man, you better not say it's me. You better. Oh, it's Pilsner. Oh, it's Pilsner. You know. <laughs> so people would score on me and shit. And uh nigga had the old shoes. I'm trying to have them one time. I took my shoes to school and I kept feeling something in my goddamn feet. It could hurt my toe. I was like, damn, I'm stepping on someone walking, make my, my walk off. So I remember getting the classroom, the back of the classroom, take my shoe off and hit them up on the floor. It was a dead rat in them off. My feet just smashed the rat inside the goddamn shoe. God, like man. that shit I went to so did people can't tell it, me. Did, God, say, did nobody see that, did it? Hell no, nah, they ain't see it. Oh man, that'll scar a nigga for life. That'll man. turn a nigga into an instant killer. Man, you know, ain't talking about that. Man, no, no, man, my brother rat, you man, that'll turn man, a nigga. You got yeah, that'll turn a nigga into a heartless person. Man, I been I lay on the floor, man, and watch rats run across the curtains, nigga. In the project, how they Yeah, get yeah, nigga. Damn. Shit. Watch rats. I'm trying my man take the open cereal box out and pour it. And it be little 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 uh the rat um, turns. Bug, no, nigga, bug eggs. Nigga, where the, where the bugs lay eggs in the motherfucker. What kind of project? Well, no, I take that back. God, you got to make a No, 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 no. I've been to Nashville, and I said, man, these projects look like they were built in the 50s. Now nah, we done quantum. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now nah, they built in the 40s, 30s. Oh, um, you grew up in them projects? 
Yeah, mother, yeah, it's still there. Some of mine tore down, but yeah, mama's still yeah, there. Like, my mama and shit grew up in the whole families grew up in them like in the fifties. They were there before that. Say, man, listen, oh, uh, oh, uh, man, you had a rag in your shoe. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Say, nigga, you talking about that a scar him? That shit just scarred the fuck out of me, nigga. Yeah. What if I goddamn me put my shoe on and, the, and I touch a goddamn rat? Nigga, I think you've been over it for me, man. Oh. Uh, I ain't going to school no more. Let, let, let me ask you something. Uh, do you think that had a lot to do with, 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 with your interest in school and your motivation in school? Nah, nah. I, I always say first. I ain't gonna like school. Uh. <laughs> What was your I ain't like school. I ain't like school because see what people don't realize. I don't, I, don't, I don't make my mama sound like no bad person. I got the best mom in the world right now. My mama, man, worked for the uh my mama raised the mayor and the uh the senator Jim Cooper and John Cooper raised, I'm not raised, but took care of their mama. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that's how pool I got in that. The mayor, my mama got him on speed down. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, like she stayed the wife. She, she went to Washington D.C. with them with their mama because she was a caregiver of their mama, the, the mayor and the and, uh, and the comic Jim Cooper. So nigga, nigga got political ties like a motherfucker. I just don't use it because of you know just who I am, how I represent myself online. I don't try to do nothing to you know the look at yeah. people like oh that's 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 Berta's son. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So uh, she did her best, but as a single mama back then, I realized it was harder to come up. Because they was they they would tell you get welfare, get food stamps, we'll take care of you. But if you didn't want that shit, and you try to work like my mama did work, they made our rent high. I remember getting the three hundred dollars in the project, and people on welfare was getting a free or forty dollars. So like the more money she made, the more they were taxed. So people didn't just say like you po because you're on welfare. Now nah, you could be working, and back then you'd be po because the more you work. The more they tax your motherfucking that, they feel like, well, you can't have no double incomes in here. You can't have no mm -hmm. uh, child support or nothing coming in or nothing like that. Or it's going to make your rent or whatever. It's going to add on to your rent. Mm -hmm. So they really tell you basically, like, don't be shit. We're going to take care of you. Yeah, just, just lay on your ass and don't do nothing. We'll give you everything.